In three, and two, and one, and shalom, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I don't know if many of you actually even catch the beginning of the video, so it's uh, like I should just uh, play some music for 15 minutes just to make sure everybody gets to the video, right? Uh, something like that. So, um, you know, I guess this starts for me when I started here, and, uh, you know, I took the time to listen to uh, this video they had here. I don't know why it's playing right now. It's just so, you know, me. I'm a complete jerk. I've got problems with everyone, and I've got issues with everyone. So, you know, uh, I don't the African diaspora ch channel, right? You know, I've got issues with good old Phil, but Phil plays like this video here, and it's very interesting uh, what happens in in this video, and the video exists uh, here. So we can just listen to it here. Um, you know, uh, I, I have a hard time listening to Phil's bullshit because, uh, or Phil's spill, spill, uh, because, you know, his view of black isn't going to get it anywhere. It will, it, it, there's, you know, my view of Negro can't get us that far. Is none of these things are nations, and this is the problem: is is we are not documented as a nation. Now I understand that there are some people documented as American, you know, but the average person listening with a driver's license, the average driver's license, no, you're 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 just a U.S. citizen. You just have citizen status. You've not filled out the paperwork. You've not studied the laws to find out what has been hidden from you. I told you this goes back to the age of majority. You are in a system where they told you they took away the constitutional way to pay for shit. They took away the gold and silver. So if they took away... If they lawfully took away gold and silver, you're not buying gold and silver online. <laughs> you're just buying like a, a, a watery form. You know? So, when we get into this, this all has to do with, with, with a lot of shit. So, let's close this one out. Let's go over to one of these other ones. And, uh, first off, I guess we're going to go to this one first because, uh, this one holds a unique key, although there's so many lies in this one, um, it, it holds a unique key. But right before we get to that, let me see if all these recycle, my comments will go, because I'm sure these people will remove the comments. So let me read, read, let me, let me read my comments first. The first comment I made is, it's not, I repeat, it's not scathings calling themselves, right? Christians and Jews, the witnesses, right? Because these Christians and these Jews are just scathians. I repeat, it is not scathians calling themselves Christian and Jews. The witnesses, the two witnesses, are Ephraim and Judah. This is in Isaiah 43, 44, 45. It's, 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 it's all over Isaiah. Let me show you what... What genocide on paper looks like. When you say the two witnesses of Isaiah, you will get, oh, revelation, revelation, right? You're dealing with a doctrine. Every subject in the Bible is created to be a doctrine by the Japhetite. Because this is the system we live with. And in this doctrine, you are not to look in the Old Testament. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you how they remove you from history. While you are alive, while you have a chance to do something about it. Now, 
the two witnesses, right? Written to Jews of the writings of Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, the following, when Malachi, right? This one might be right. But everything else, remember, I said Isaiah. Who are the two witnesses in Revelation? Why is it saying Revelation when I asked Isaiah? Here it says Isaiah. In 41 and 27, it lets you know. But it don't say no Christians and it don't say no Jews. Isaiah 40, 1 through 10. The two witnesses, right? Early Christian writers, uh -huh. Greeks and Romans. They were guessing, saying it would be Enoch and Elijah. And here's 43 and 10. You are my two witnesses, declares the master. He must be talking to the, to the Jews and the Christians, right? Because when I turn on a modern video made February 13th of 2021, this person has in here, in here, a revelation, right? The candlesticks, right? They're the seven churches, right? So she believes that, what? The candlesticks, the churches are the witnesses. Well, why are you giving Old Testament shocking truth, but going to the New Testament for it, when the, what you call Old Testament, which your people printed out as Old Testament, tells us who the two witnesses are. Isaiah 43 and 10. Huh? Isaiah 43 and 10. Isaiah 43 and 11. It tells you who are the witnesses. Did I grab that yet? No. I thought I did. All right, here's Isaiah 43. This is an online Bible. Everybody has access to 43. And it said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Master, my servants, who I have chosen. Huh. Well, who's he talking to? Oh, well, let's scroll back up. But now saith, right? The Ishi, Hosea chapter 2, right? You will no longer call me Lord. That created thee, O Jacob, and formed thee, O Israel. Well, who, who is Jacob and Israel? Well, Jacob, my servant, right? And Israel, Jacob and ja Jashurun. Jashurun. But who, who is this Israel whose name will be Jashurun? Well, all you gotta do is read. Jacob, my servant, Israel, mine elect. So, everybody knows Israel is Ephraim, right? Ephraim is the leader of the ten northern tribes that is that we live in North America. So one tribe is in the north and one tribe is in the south. We're told we're shown a Bible map showing two kingdoms 
ass up against each other. If they were that close, why would there be a problem when they build the second temple? We don't want to pilgrimage that far. Well, how far do you have to go? One city over? Nobody's going to complain about that. No, 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 you host that shit because I don't want to clean up. No one is going to complain about that. But yet, on these Bible maps, they want to show you they're right next to each other. So, then, you know, let me read this comment real quick, you know, because when I, I should connect this north and south thing real quick. I repeat, Scathians calling themselves Christians are not the witnesses. Ephraim and Judah are. It is not hidden. It is clearly written. It is not hidden in the whole Old Testament. This is heathen vanity, as the Bible mentions. This is the vanity of Japheth. There is no point in saying Gentile. You don't see that many Arab pictures uh, pushing, uh, in, in, right? They at least go by the laws and customs of the Bible, no images, right? If you draw a picture of blah, 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 I'll do this to you, right? They don't play, right? This is what? Another of many where the heathen write themselves into history, both what? Past and modern times. Just more evidence you have not changed. You'll share your forefathers' judgment. This is a video created this year. Shocking truth. The two witnesses are the candlesticks talked about in Revelation. That's not what the Most High says himself in. That's not what's recorded as coming out of the Most High's mouth. What's wrong with these people, Mama? I'm going to read this one real too. Babylon is the people. There's no in location. Look at what America did to the world. Is it the soil? It's the people. Everyone knows Babylon is America. This is the new sprawling metroplex. Everybody said, I don't want a bunch of different nations in our land. Yet the only nation that always had that consistently was Egypt. The Philistines, the Phoenicians, the Israelites. Hmm? Everybody was renting from Egypt. Somebody dies, they want to, in the book of Jashir, it says, Rikion was made, what, Pharaoh? Because he said, charge they ask for dying. Charge him to be buried in the ground. Isn't this the grand funeral system here? Archaeology. Digging up old graves and then hiding the identity and just saying they're white people. All these Indian slaughters that took place, nobody wants to dig up the graves and, and test the DNA because they already know what was slaughtered. They already know who they look like, and that's completely different from the Asian slaves that were brought in during the six, uh, 17th century, which would be the 1600s, to remove the indigenous people as far as they knew. They got there and those people were indigenous to them from the land. Now, Babylon is the people. What is it? It's the babbling and lying, huh? To get their vanity. 
That's why they go dig some shit up. They hide it in a lab for 10 years. And then when everybody who was hot for the subject has cooled off after 10 years, they tell you, oh, well, that was blah, blah, blah. Now, right, we're so fast in society, it's a two-year span. Hmm? It's a two-year span. They'll hide it from you for two years. And then all of a sudden, they'll release it like it was always, it was, it was always constant news. And it wasn't. It was always it was it was hidden for two years. Whitewashing history and of course injecting themselves, the Megogites. That's what the Judeans and that's what the Israelites call all Japheth people. It doesn't even matter if you're not from Japheth's blood. I mean, I mean, excuse me, if you're not from Megog's blood, because the acts that you do by code. Benefit Magog. And see, this woman, she accidentally slips up and tells you, right, what happens all. And it's a beauty that this video came out. It truly is. It truly is. Injecting themselves, the Magogites, the Jephetites, as people of the book and, huh? They oppressed the real Israelites, Ephraim, the color people that used to be Indians, and real Judeans, the real Britons. British means kinda, yeah, just standings, assumption, assuming, proxy, right? The Negroes of Europe that are in America today. All these real history books show that white people were enslaved in in Europe. So you could not have been European enslaving yourselves and titling books are white slaves. I have a select viewership because I constantly bring up books on white slavery. So, This becomes sickening. The irony is that is what will Judgment Day be like? All the effort, all these videos you make, but you still break the commandment to not lie. The judge says every man will be judged for their actions. So why keep lying and saying, oh, Christians will be the, the witnesses and oh, the fake Jews will be the, the, the witnesses. The Jewish, the Israel lie. Inquisition was kill for the image of whitewashing. That's what Inquisition is. If they was, were black kings and they accepted a different god and that's what they fell for, right? And as their kingdoms fell, what was happening is the turnover. We can't have these portraits of black kings around. Well, what is this? What's the difference when she chooses to go to Revelation? If she says, I'm going to answer a question out of the Old Testament, why go to the New Testament when the answer is in the Old Testament? The black Indians didn't give up their bloodline of being God's chosen. They have been punished for a time and time and time and a half. Funny thing is, they're being punished during the same rule of mm, Japheth. So, when it says Japheth will dwell in the tents of Shem and Ham will come along as a damn servant, and what do you see? All these ethnic restaurants. Hmm? So the Lombardos is a tribe that pretend to be Italians today. When they sell those houses for a dollar, right? You, but you got to stay there and refix it. We fucked your country up. You can have Italy back. We fucked your country up. You can have parts of Europe back. When the dark-skinned woman with an afro goes to what? 
goes to Africa DNA and it says you're European. Now, right? Brainwashed to f to what? I wanted to cuss so bad there. Brainwashed to worship the image. The black girl is told that her DNA is European, so then she thinks, oh, one of my ancestors must have slept with a white person. No, ma'am. All your dead ancestors are buried in Europe, and your DNA is telling you your dead ancestors are from Europe, not Africa. You are the beast, you and your wicked lying people. Now again, that's a generalized statement. If Barbara is 71 years old, she never did anything to hide history. She never sat there and all my fights were about the situation. I didn't add race. So why should caucus Barbara have the same fate as people who go around injecting themselves in the shit? This is why the judge says everybody will be judged for their actions. If you, there are no white people. There are people saying they are white. There are no black people. There are people saying they are black. If you want to be a white supremacist and keep whitewashing history verbally, and recording it, hey, Judgment Day, it was created for you. So when we look at some of these videos today, I want you to keep that in mind. Judgment Day, right? Oh, give me the definition because that gives me the audio. Clicky, clicky. Fair use. Fair use. Hey, Google needs to tune up. You know, all these uh, updates we get, right? The shit works worse. It pays for 55,000 American servicemen, 6,000 of them black. 55,000. Only 6,000 black. Wow. I guess you treated those men good enough to want to help you destroy other nations beginning in 1965 10,000 marines have passed through camp hansen every month on their way to and from vietnam fair use into the army or the military and when we're away from home they, they misuse us so you think you're oppressed now when they give you a gun and bullets right because they know you can't get back home without them right this is this man's opinion See this guy? He just can't even like mind his own business. Well, boom, we ought to put a stop to this. We put them where uh, they can't wear they can't wear the dashikis without a collar to them. And uh, so boom. As being black as we are, we don't want to style our actual clothes with no uh, collar because it don't belong. You know, it's not supposed to be a collar to us. Yeah, exactly. look here. The point to that is that uh, we know black culture. You know. We are the black people. So how 
Somebody's somebody gonna tell us how we supposed to sport our clothes, you know. This is what we I mean, this is what we're talking about. They don't so you hear that shit, you know, you get in the military. Fair use. You know, and then they're just like, okay, well, we want you to look this way and we want you, right? And, and again, you have your custom, your culture. All right? Their military is their culture. When it, when it comes to culture, there's obviously a problem here. The same problem that you have when you're not in the military. So, again, you're going into uh, a potentially dangerous, exciting field of murder, and, right, you're 55,000 on the base, and, right, 6,000 are Negro. They keep saying black. Here is a black screen. Here is the man's hair. His hair is black. Here's his sunglasses. His sunglasses were black. If he were black, I would not see any fucking features. I can't help that at that time period, he was brainwashed to say that shit too. Okay, so I want you to pay attention to this. When I showed you the video that the brother produced showing you how these diseases were created by uh, these labs, the, right? Um, J.P. Morey turns into the Cancer Institute today. It's the same people he's just saying. Say we're we're fighting to protect these corporate military businesses that are actually making weapons to destroy us on our home. I want you to think about this. This is what is being done. He clearly calls the men that they have on their side the beast. Where is it? The beast. How they learn the word nigger. The beast. They're not even wasting time with this, 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 con oh, using the term white. The beast. So I want to go back real quick and I want people to pay attention of how I write in here, you are the beast. You and your lying wicked people. She's part of lying wicked people. This has, I don't care if people think it has to do with color. Again, if Marsha in Pennsylvania lives around black people, don't fucking argue, nigga this, nigga that, lives her fucking life, stamps books in a library, doesn't doesn't preach, never supported white supremacy. Oh, why, why, why is she part of the same? So again, that blanket term. Again, 
if behind the Caucasus Mountains, the devil is locked for a thousand years. Then clearly, the people he mated with created children who are the beast. These people are running the government. Again, if Dan over there in Dansville never got his ass up to fucking play the political ring or anything like that, so why is, 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 should he be affected by this? Oh, surely he benefits from it. I'm trying to show you a point. So, as the Bible says, this is all vanity. As we've studied of Sodom and Gomorrah, remember, this place turns into the new Sodom and the new Gomorrah. Remember, Gomorrah is glamour. It is vanity. Caucus people, Japheth's children, right? If you understand the Bible, you understand those are not the children of Shem. On every continent, they are calling themselves something that they are not. Again, anybody that really reads this Bible can see the end game. It is the Most High versus the Goths and the Magogites. Meaning, one set of brothers are controlling the strongest. And on the other half, you have the weakest. And the weakest, they're sprinkled here amongst me and you to produce stupid fucking daily conflicts. So that neither group can see what the other has done in government. So then you have another wonderful clown over here. Fair use. And of course, this person spends his time making history and biblical videos. And again, it is the devil in the details, I will say. Uh, and with this being said, he clearly uh, shows. If you took the time to listen to the whole video, you would. See it. So, again, uh, I'm going to play this part that's in here. Uh, he says some things that is uh, clearly ridiculous. And uh, um, It's, it's so, I would say, aggravating, you know, if, if it almost make it that people should have a license to broadcast, you know, because the broadcasting lies, you know, and then based on that, you know, that the Negro people would be denied the licenses, right? Um, that That is the unique thing about it, right? But them holding the licenses uh, uh, leaves them open to liability. Again, what these people are doing as a whole is what you would call, let's wait for the screen to catch up. These, what these people are doing as a whole is what you would call uh, artistic uh, uh, 
representation, right? They have the right to artistically assume anyone in history looked however they want to. Now, again, if clearly from history you stole everybody's nation, then you have everybody's wealth. If you put these limits on, uh, this is how you make a book, this is where you, and not every, you know, how is anybody going to pay for any of this shit when you already stole all their shit? Yeah. And if you even pay attention to the dollar, the dollar is something that says what? It's good for public and private debt, but the dollar has to do with this country. So why is the dollar used in all business all over the world? So, yeah, there's a lot of trickery that's going on in that. I'm just fucking stepping that shit. They'll be knocking on my door in minutes, right? So, of course, I left many comments here, and uh, I think all my comments were removed. Um, that's what I'm guessing. Because, uh, so there's a lot of lies in this video. Uh, again, he says he, he uses the phrase white Greeks, black Athena, the Afro-Asiatic roots of classical civilization. Why are you calling the Greeks white? The book says different. Their pottery says different. You are evil. When I left this comment up, my other comments were taken down and a thumbs up came up notification on my phone. When I came back, all my comments were gone. I'm pretty sure this motherfucker is the one that gave me the thumbs up. And I'm just going to highlight. And he knows it. So you pay attention to these videos. When these people give shout outs. So I want to come back to 25. So when he comes, when he, shout out to Martin and shout, right? All these people, they make fucking lies. And the beauty of it is they tell you to sell a lie. You have to give some truth. So what I'm going to show you is the give back on both videos. On both videos. Because to me, both of them are liars. I have the same books, I done read the same shit, I done put the shit on screen. I done put on screen the Persian plaque that Darius had made saying that they are the Aryans. This dude will read modern people's shit where you have a modern interpretation what Aryans are and they'll tell you anybody can be an Aryan. Now, that's all cool if it's just some dumb religious belief. But the problem is, is that whether it's Cyrus or Darius, whoever carved it in stone, it was important to them. Somebody took it. And now, I don't see people of other colors saying, I'm an Aryan. I only see Jafet's people saying that they're an Aryan. When I look at the Persians, they got knots in their beards, right? Twists in their beards. This is not a caucus image. So when we continue with uh, who are the Jafet, who are all the Jafetites, you're going to see most of these races pour out of Jafet. The Iranian, that branch of Arabs, the Ashkenazi. And as we go down, you're going to see it all. And hopefully, at that point, you'll understand what's going on and why they are called the Gentile. Because when they mixed with other races at an early time, that produced these different tribes or different cultures or what we call different ethnicity, ethnicities. Just like we have multiple dark skin tribes, meaning they're not from the same father, I'm not saying not from the same forefather, just not from the same father. 
just we have just as we have light skinned tribes again I'm from medium mocha kind of kind of family you know actually my dad looks you know my grandpa was 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 fairly dark on my dad's side my grandmother on my dad's side was light as butter in fact she, if you held butter next to her hand I bet she cut her own finger thing and I couldn't see the difference it, it, it's it was that type of of skin tone so the idea of people oh light skin and dark skin don't don't get along of, of dark of, of colored people they got along fine when I was growing up so again it's just people saying shit and that's the problem and it, and it doubles it's a two-sided coin you know although I have a constant our audience you know this stuff doesn't go any further everybody else's audience grows this audience chooses not to grow itself mm. I can't help that I can't at all so again we are in the grassroots situation and it's all by the actions of the people now listen there's nothing more I can do except for have a broadcast so listen to this and listen very close because here is the evidence that we all need very first day Donnelly goes on to show that there are headdresses from Native America that are very similar to the Egyptian headdresses that we find even the obelisk of Egypt have their counterpart in America quoting from Alina history of Chile Macala writes, between the hills of Mendoza and La Punta is a pillar of stone 150 feet high and 12 feet in diameter. The columns of Copan stand detached and solitary. So do the obelisks of Egypt. Both are square and four-sided and covered with sculpture. In a letter by Jamard, quoted by Delafield, we read, quote, I have recognized in your memoir on the division of time between the Mexican nations compared with those of Asia. Some very striking analogies between the Toltec characters and institutions observed on the banks of the Nile. Among these analogies, there is one which is worthy of attention. It is the use of the vague year of 365 days, composed of equal months and of five complementary days. Equally employed at Thebes and Mexico, a distance of 3,000 leagues, in reality, the intercalation of the Mexicans being 13 days on each cycle of 52 years. That would be the old Mexicans, like the Old Testament, old Mech, old Mech people, Omex, the old Mexicans, not the new Mexicans. So, again, there's this, this similarity, this contrast, this sign of design that you can't get away from between the old mechs who are the toltecs old mech toltec this is what they're not telling you who are the toltecs right who are, they're the old mechs he just told you all in one fucking sentence by reading somebody else's writing nations compared with those of asia some very striking analogies between the toltec character so do the obelisk of egypt both are square and four-sided and covered with sculpture in a letter by Jamard, quoted by Delafield, we read, quote, I have recognized in your memoir on the division of time between the Mexican nations compared with those of Asia, some very striking analogies between the Toltec characters and institutions observed on the banks of the Nile. Among these analogies, there is one which is worthy of attention. It is the use of the vague year of 365 days, composed of equal months and of five complementary days, equally employed at Thebes and Mexico, a distance of 3,000 leagues, in reality, the intercalation of the Mexicans being 13 days on each cycle of 52 years comes to the same thing as that of the Julian calendar, which is one day in four years. So we are just mimicking the Egyptians. I mean the Mexicans. I mean the Egyptians. I mean the old Mexicans. I mean, it should be obvious now. And consequently, supposes the duration of the year to be 365 days, 6 hours. Now such was the length of the year among the Egyptians. They intercalated an entire year 375 days every 1,460 years. The fact of the intercalation by the Mexicans of 13 days every cycle, that is, the use of a year or 365 days and a quarter, is a proof that it was borrowed from the Egyptians?
You understand what's going on? The fact of the intercalation by the Mexicans of 13 days every cycle, that is, the use of a year or 365 days in a quarter, is he proof that it was borrowed from the Egyptians or that they had a common origin? No, look at this. Look at the pyramids. Mesoamerica and the Egyptians. Now, remember when they first started building these things, they were ziggurats, right? Because we all learned about freaking ziggurats. When I went to Texas on a bike, I went through Kentucky on the highway between the split divide, right? They were building a ziggurat. I recorded it. That's how I got half my viewers. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. Nile isn't where we think it is. <laughs> it's most likely the closer to the Suez Canal down in you know Panama Canal. Not saying it's the Panama Canal, I'm saying it's most likely. Is, is the use of a year, year or 365 days, days in a quarter, quarter? Is he proof that it was borrowed from the Egyptians or that they had a common origin? So if the Egyptians were the Toltecs, as many, as many older, older historians, historians mentioned... Whoa, 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 you're talking too fast. You're saying truthful stuff at the end of the video and you're talking too fast. But they had a common origin. So if the Egyptians were the Toltecs, as many older... So, this puts us right back where we started. It's like, it's almost like we had six fun years. So, if the Egyptians are the Toltecs, so the Toltecs, they were like, nobody knows who the Toltecs were, but the Toltecs were the Olmecs. And the... Toltecs were destroyed by the Aztecs, but the Aztec generation that met the Japhetites, they weren't meeting the Europeans, they were meeting the Spanish, which is uh, Tabal, which is Japheth, which is the Castile family, which is another European Right? Whoa, no. It's another Jafet tribe wearing the mask. We're Europeans. Blame it all on Europe. It's another historical act of one nation of Jafet stealing from another nation of Ham or Shem. Who'd they take it from? The Aztecs? So they stole from Shem. So the Toltecs, the Az. Texts that met the Japhetites were like, well, we don't know who the Toltecs were because the time that passed between, hmm, they weren't keeping up with their history. Reminds me of somebody today. So, listening to this little shit weaves the knot together because, of course, even though he doesn't mention the old historians, the historians of old pieced it all together, and then the new historians had to come and smash everything as a gatekeeper. So, and the Spanish came and built their Mexico City on top of the Aztec City. The, the people that destroyed the real uh, Egyptians, Toltec. See, we get this Bible in our hand, we have the Old Testament, we have the contract by the Most High that we would be given the land. Where is their contract from the Most High that they would be given the land? See, it is all Japheth's, you know, again, Tubal is Japheth's people. But you see, I'm willing to bet that mind fuck over here and uh, Narnia, right? 
the lion in the wardrobe. I I would bet that right they would uh they would not look like the Spaniards. They would probably look by judging by their voices, they would look like a different um type of Jafedi. And you see the Spaniards did all the Tubal did all the muscle work, right? To get us out of the way. And these people are doing the brainwashing work. The wizardry. So you have to defeat the muscle and you have to defeat the wizardry. I'm not muscular. I can't defeat the muzzle. But those fucking wizards are easy to shatter. So let's shatter some more wizards. So now that we know exactly who the Egyptians were by modern principle, by lies, we should be looking at the Olmecs for old Egypt. Mm. So I'm kind of done, uh, but there's much more in this one. Um, she's going to lead into at 603, the key to I don't know how to word this yet. Empire existed in the same geographical location as the Ottoman Empire, the final horn of the goat. This is explained in Daniel 8. It's talking about the goat, which it tells us represents Greece, and the first horn was Alexander the Great. Alexander's death then split Greece up into four sections. It can equal three and, and a half years, which and is out of 42 one of those months. Four sections, it says, a little horn will arise. The four sections were Ptolemaic Egypt, Seleucid Mesopotamia, Anatolia, which was in Turkey, and Macedonia, which was Greece. And we are fools. Each of fools if we think that this is the span of their empire. Four generals hmm? said, let us split up the world. And that's, that's what they, that's what they did. Now, imagine they tell you Alexandria, Egypt, right? Sitting, oh, uh, where, 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 what? The, the opening of the Nile with this great library. So, I'd imagine in Central America, there's going to be something like that. We fight to protect J.P. Kennedy's foundation, all these different kind of foundations that the black man can't partake of, you understand? And then we go back, we continuously harass. These four horns represents a large empire of history. Ancient Mesopotamia, the ancient I Egypt, it, we are the people here and now. ancient Greece we had already now. risen. But the Turkish Empire did not rise until 1299 CE. Now, just like you said, these people, this is explained in Daniel 8, 22, and 23. In the latter time of those four kingdoms, the king of this continent shall rise and destroy by peace. First continents, okay. So, <clears throat> I want you to remember that. Um, I want you to think about how many times we read the Bible and there's mistranslations. Um, I want you to remember, it's she's reading, it says fierce continents. And I want you to remember that they used to use the word fair to talk about Japheth's people and not about they look good, they look fair looking people. Fair was a word that uh, I believe the meaning has been removed from history. The Turkish again, continent, continents, it's, it's your image. And this still pushes, again, the uh, Inquisition was kill 
what for whitewashing except our Japhetic God or die so what were Hamites worshipping at that time <laughs> fucking people of India are worshipping blue people and these these guys have swords they're marching around saying it, ex, ex, except barbarian dude nailed to a cross we're we're dying empire rose up in 1299 and it fell in 1923 the king of his countenance was the league of nations which rose up in 1920 at the latter end of the turkish empire now look at what happened so do you think the turkish empire fell or do you think they found a way to shift their power structure into the un How could the UN be created but Turkey fall? Hmm? See, these leagues have been around for a long time. First, it was the Peloponnesian League, right? And what we have today is we have all these leagues dealing with the Hague Convention. But what nobody's saying is, is all of these nations that are part of the Hague Convention, or at least started the Hague Convention, these are nations where they're assuming the identity of shit they stole from other people years ago. They're not using who they ethnically are, who they biologically are. They're using somebody else's name. That name wouldn't be the same again. If you come from dirt and you try to build a castle, it's a mud pile. When your mud pile is compared to the brick castle over there because he came from brick, then you tend to envy them, which is covet. I want what they have. Why do we not see any images of Scathianopolis, right? Everybody had an opolis and Scathianopolis existed. This is Japheth's massive kingdom. How come in no history books there's nothing drawn of it? Well, let's see. If they abandoned that motherfucking place like it was on fire, and then they went to every place else, they spread out, and each place they took over. They rule by might, and they couldn't figure out how shit worked because the strong guy killed the mechanic. And that's why we have from the east all the way over to the west a fucking thousand year shift. And this is what I mean. When you take a blanket and you take it and you shake it down and it makes that ripple. I'm busy. I'm recording. Give me one second. All right. So you shake a blanket. It gives you that ripple, right? This is what it is. Think about how people left Northeast Asia. There was a wall. They didn't. They couldn't get into Asia right away. And again, Asia. It's like Asia has always kept them out, right? And they went down. The wall must have broken India as well because they're in India. You have in, people of India saying that they rule there. We see the history. They call themselves the Brahmin, when we know they have nothing to do with those people's history. They just overthrowing them, separating them from any modern knowledge, knocking them back to pet. It's, it's all it is, knocking them back to a pet status. If you go and you try to get a job and they can't, they won't give you a job for whatever fucking reason they imagine. Yeah, we have training facilities, but you don't have the training that's needed, right? Yeah, we have the budget, right? And then you go and you sign up for the government and you say, I can't get a job. Hmm? 
And so then they give you this little stimulus, right? Enough to buy pet food. Hmm? A pet is about this mass, and you are this mass. They give you a stimulus to you know, briefly exist the size of a pet. So here's this ripple. The ripple is they come out and as they overthrow something, it takes them so long because the language difference at the time, it takes them so long to try to repair everything they destroyed. And once everything goes in what's called disrepair, you cannot repair it any further. They move on. Now think, remember I had a little paper map and I showed you they came from up here and they slowly over the years, right? 1,000 years, 2,000 years, 3,000. Now we're all, all of us are all backward, all started in the fucking East. But we call it America, we call it the West because backwards people are naming it to trick us. See, I told you, we're in the only place, the only fucking place a tower, a real giant tower exists. We're the only place with a red sea bloom coast next to the cactus on the backs of the scarabs that the Egyptians used in the same desert land that the pistachio grows. Pistichiana or something like that. See, if everything in the Bible is telling us is right here, the only thing that's not telling us is 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 the caucus, the Japhetite. And again, this moves the Japhetite. Now Torgama is the Turks, and with the information she just said, oh, the public information that you can find out about what the League of Nations that leads to the UN. So, is Torgama always been in control of the UN at the cost of losing control of Turkey, in which his people men are share the land with Hamites now? The same Hamites that the Most High says he's going to war with, along with Torgama and Rosh and Mishak. The war of what they say is Gog, but it's really Goths versus Magog. So, it's very unique. All right? And I'm going to prove it one more thing with her own mouth. All right? And so, we go up here somewhere around 10 minutes. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right? So here we go. Revelation 13, right? And uh, and they that worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, right? Let us go over here. Tell me again, who is the beast? Who taught the, the, the Vietnamese to call huh, Afro-Asiatic people a name that's not part of their language? He just, so from now on, I'm just calling them the beast.
village. The vill. The village. He goes into the village. Now, I don't even see it this way. Imagine I go with the army to another country to fucking oppress them. They say, you get out, you black. I say, bitch, I'm holding a gun. What the fuck are you talking about? So I see things a different way. These are the realities that these people live. He's not being exactly concise. He's not saying who exactly threw him out of what uh, this and that. But don't let my comments take away from the moral of the story of how the beast acts. Now, didn't didn't the beast brainwash us to believe that we were Africans? So the definition of Negro over here dark skinned race who belongs to the people originally from Africa. Negro originates sub-Saharan Africa. Black African heritage. Oh, but here's the Zondervan. Hmm? So... Well, that's interesting. I had to recycle because it wouldn't refresh. Are all the ads going to pop back up? Okay. So, what is this? The definition of Ham. Youngest son of Noah, born probably 96 years before the flood. One of eight persons to survive the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. But... Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians. So I went over a law definition, and the law definition is that Negroes are classified as Ethiopians. You look like the Ethiopian unto me, O Israel. Israel is Ephraim, meaning Ephraim looks like the Ethiopian. So what are they doing? They are classifying Negroes who are Israelites, the people of the Bible, they are classifying them as African Americans or Negroes or Ethiopians. When the definition of the Bible shows us even the Negro is not of the Hamitic races. So if the Negro is not of the Hamitic races, the Negro is not of the Japhetic race, then obviously the Negro is of Shem. But again, it's no point of keep saying this. Everybody fucking knows it. They're just making their fucking dividends broadcasting goddamn lies. And lies. So it makes me wonder when these were all in their ethnic lands or all in the lands that they stole as they were converting them to ethnicities, when they gave out the flyer to come to America, what did it really say? I wonder if it said, come to the land of Egypt. I wonder if it said, come help us topple the Israelites and Judeans.
because the history of Brighton shows them as Negroes as well. It's 2021. Only new Bible readers have not heard King James writ the Bible, right? Everybody that knows King James writ the Bible, I, I would presume 68% of them already know or have heard the term or the phrase King James was black. So this becomes silly. And this is why I say <clears throat> all these groups are lying because their lie creates vanity and the vanity created around that produces an aura. If you walked around in your lifetime and you typed in who are the two witnesses? And it says Christians are and Jews are. You would always be like, if you're a Christian, I'm going to treat you real good. And if you're a Jew, I'm going to treat you even better. That's the mentality you fucking have. If you walked around with, ooh, the revelation says there's candlesticks and the candlesticks are seven churches. So I always want to donate to the churches. And this is why they thrive. You must remember, all this entertainment didn't exist before. All these people were book thrivers, story listeners, or storytellers. And since Hollywood's the biggest industry today, which one in that group do you think was most needed by everybody else? It was most likely the storytellers. Because this caused adventure. Whether you lied and somebody went to where you lied and found nothing. Whether you lied, somebody went to where you lied and accidentally found something even better. Or, out of vanity, you told the truth. I have been to the edge of the sea. Which then spread like wildfire, like a news report today. And other men say, I too want to go to the edge of the sea. Where is this man? I want to hear his tale. You find them, I've told this tale so many times, I tell it no more for free. That woman, that woman, that woman, and him could tell you the tale for free. But if you want to hear the tale from me, it'll cost you a pretty fee. Right? I mean, so... There is no question of why Hollywood is so strong as an industry over everyone's mind. So, I guess I'll conclude with this. When I type in two witnesses to Google, it directs me to Revelation. When I type in two witnesses in Isaiah, it directs me to Revelation. The book of Revelation is clearly a military plan. It is strategic. Is there history in there? The historians argue if the guys that are paid to read the freaking book argue about if the shit is true or not then fuck it you know what they're arguing about the old testament the argument is what time not if it happened it's what time you get modern pieces of shit that come out and say did it happen? You get modern pieces of sod that say, well, yes, it happened, but it's the church will be blessed because of these things. Understand, Daniel is in captivity. 
when Daniel has a prophecy, does Daniel know the prophecy is for the world? And if he does, is there special messages within it for him? I want you to think about something. Daniel said, this will happen, or Daniel was told, this will happen time and time and a half that these things will gain. Is Daniel under the impression that the Israelites will thrive under these rulerships? Or is Daniel under the impression, or does Daniel sense the special message that bad things will happen to Israel and to Judah as these things happen? And, I, and <clears throat> we'll end with this. Remember, if I create a silicone mask of a different nation and I walk around using that to perform acts now I take myself out of this equation and I want to remind you Nico Pili says Pilid says that what the Israeli are not the people of the Bible Gabel Abdel Nasir says what? You left Israel black and you came back white. Stop listening to these people. Form lawsuits against these people for their acts of assumption and fraud. These are the things that you can do. There is a federal lawsuit waiting to happen against the federal government for the BLM, the BLM always pushing the French narrative of Asian slaves being brought over to be the American Indian when they know that's not the American Indian. If you're upset about what's said in this video, I don't give a shit. I don't. Why would I care if somebody's upset because I proved somebody else lying to the public? You understand all these people work by donation telling people that I'm telling you the truth about this stuff. This is the work of the children of the devil. And again, why would black history even be secret? Black people only exist during Japheth's rule. Before that, you were Shemites, you were nations. You were tribes, and you were all recorded by other peoples in history. So technically, there is no black history, except for the things that have happened in America as they've worked together to hide your natural past. Shalom, everyone.